Hey everyone, this is Salamander Anagram with MachineSkills.com and today I'm going to do a quick and simple tutorial on integrating your reactor snapshots inside the machine browser. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have a ton of reactor tutorials up already. Uh, we're just getting started with machine, but we're going to be releasing one or two machine tutorials at least a week, I think, so stay tuned for that. All right, so let's get started. So what we're going to do today is take advantage of machine's new integration with reactor to add our reactor snapshots to the machine browser. So to do this, we're going to need an example tutorial to work with. So I'm just going to load up a copy of a prototype of a synth I've been working on for a while. All right, so now we need to turn on our side pane. And inside the side pane, you can load the snapshots bar. And that'll bring up the snapshots for this reactor instrument or ensemble that you have selected. And there's a little drop down menu here where we can select the show meta info option and when you have show meta info selected this little tab appears on the right hand side of the snapshot browser which you can access by right clicking and as you can see right now we're in play mode and it's more unable to act, uh, edit any of the snapshot data so make sure you turn play mode on um, it's right up here at the top of the screen Okay, so now we can start editing metadata. So let's say we have a sound we want to add to the machine browser. We can simply right click here in the type and choose instrument since it's an instrument. If it was an audio effect, we could choose effect. If it was both an audio effect and an instrument, we can choose both. And if we select none, then this particular snapshot will not appear in the machine browser. All right, so that works well enough for one or two sounds, but let's say we had a bank of 128 sounds. We wanted to set them all to be an instrument or an effect. Fortunately, the snapshot banks themselves have metadata and when we set the snapshot bank, it sets every snapshot in that bank to whatever we've chosen. So this is a much easier way to set all of our snapshots to be instruments at once. All right, so that covers how to add machine metadata to a reactor snapshot inside of reactor, but we're not quite done yet. Now we need to tell machine where to find these snapshots that we want to add to the machine library. So make sure you save your ensemble and let's start up machine. So the machine library has two components to it. It has the factory part and the user library. And our newly added snapshots are going to show up in the user library, of course, which you can select up towards the top of the library on the right here select the little user icon instead of the native instruments icon and there's nothing there to start so we need to go into the machine preferences which you can find in the file menu and we're going to select the library tab and the user folder so we want to add a folder to the user folder section and on Microsoft, this is going to be in the Documents folder, inside Native Instruments folder, inside the Reactor folder. You'll have the Library, and I select the Ensembles folder there, and that should hold all of your ensembles if you're saving them in the right place. So let's just click OK. And if you want to do this without reopening machine, you should hit Rescan when you're done adding your user folders and you see all of these instruments that we just added will show up let's just make sure that we can add one to a pad and play it
Okay, so that's how to add all of your sounds from Reactor into the machine browser. I hope you guys have a good week and check out machineskills.com for more tutorials like this.